Well, the reason is quite clear, because you are going to be at the center, or at least one of the very important people who are in the midst of deciding what you should do with the patient. So you have to understand uh, where you can go once a patient has endocarditis. And echo really does play a crucial role. First of all, to look at the extent of the infection, but also to estimate the risk and to assess the complications. And this really does dictate if you need additional diagnostics, if you can maybe choose a conservative approach, or if you need to send the patient to surgery. And it's also, of course, very important for the follow-up, especially after you've implanted a prosthetic valve, for example. After all, this follow-up study will help you decide if you can proceed with a conservative approach or if and when surgery should be performed. In addition, as the 2023 guidelines state, the follow-up study will allow you to determine if you continue with oral opposed to IV antibiotics.